Hi guys, it's Freddie here from runforfit.com and today I'm going to be talking to you about the importance of having a narrow versus a wide step width. Now a step width in running refers to the distance between your feet at each step. But wide step width looks like this. So you're running and your feet are landing wider apart. Whereas a crossover running gait, the feet are essentially landing uh, along the midline. And this crossover running is associated with IT band syndrome. A lot of these runners in these studies are heel strike runners. So it might just be the mechanics related to heel strike running that is producing the IT band syndrome, not running with a crossover running gait. So a lot of researchers think that when you run with a wider step width, that what happens is, is that the IT band is in a better place where it doesn't compress the fat pad on the lateral side of the knee. You have to remember that most of the research on biomechanics of running involve heel strike runners, not forefoot runners. But having read all this research on wide step width and the benefits of running with a wide step width, when I first started my forefoot running journey, I of course started, I experienced some injury and I thought that maybe running with a wider step width would really help. And it did, but at the same time it was good but it wasn't great. But my thoughts about running with a wider step width changed as soon as I saw Galen Rupp at the 2016 men US Olympic marathon trials. And the first thing I noticed was that he was running with an exceptionally narrow step width. And it was almost like he was running with a crossover running gait. And a crossover running gait is something that the literature says is, is no good and because it causes the IT band to compress the fat pad that's on the lateral aspect of the knee. So when I'm looking at Galen Rupp, I'm realizing that he is not running with a wide step width. He's running with a very, very narrow step width, which doesn't jive with what the literature recommends that how riders should run. So here's a video showing the crossover running pattern of Galen Rupp. Obviously, Galen Rupp, his running form plays a big role, a tremendous role in his outstanding performance. And we all know that Alberto Salazar has helped re-engineer the way Galen Rupp runs. Galen Rupp is running with a crossover running gait for a reason. If a crossover running gait was ineffective, then he would be running with a wider step width. But obviously, uh, a very narrow step width seems to be working. So Galen Rupp is running with a crossover running pattern. So is this any good for running? Well, I came across a study that suggests that it actually is very beneficial to run with a narrow step width as compared to running with a wider step width. So as I was sifting through the research, I actually found that many researchers speculate that humans prefer to run with a narrow step width and a step width that's closer to zero. So basically the feet are landing very close along the midline. And this is because that it may minimize side to side body sway. Because it reduces the side to side motions of the body, running with a crossover running gait as compared to running with a wider step width may actually play a large role in stability. And of course, when the body is more stable during running, more energy can be saved. So a crossover running gait may be associated with greater energy return, which would be good for the marathon. One study found that running with a narrow step width, especially when the steps occur along the midline, reduces meterolateral ground reaction forces. And in contrast, running with a wider step width may actually increase side to side kinetic energy fluctuations of the body, which would make the runner less efficient because the prime goal of running is to move forward, not side to side. Another study found that runners actually wasted more energy when they ran with a wider step width. And instead, running with a more narrow step width may reduce muscular effort needed to control front and back postural moments. So my final thoughts with regards to running with a wide versus a narrow step width is that try to experiment with a narrow step width but if you're in a good place with forefoot running, I wouldn't bother changing anything and just stay true to your natural forefoot running form and just do what feels good. But one thing that I have noticed though is that the shorter distance runners tend to have a wider step width. So maybe having a wider step width is beneficial mechanically and energetically for the longer distance, or sorry, for the shorter distances. But marathoners tend to have a narrower step width. So this may suggest that having a narrow step width may provide better stability and, and better energy return over longer distances. So there's something to think about. And for more information about forefoot running and barefoot running and the dangers of heel strike running, 
please head on over to my blog at runforfoot.com and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and have a good run and good luck out there. Bye.